Understanding the concept of layers and how they're handled within EFIT 6 is an important part of using the software effectively and this lesson will aim to achieve this. The lesson will be divided into just two sections. In the first section we'll explain layers, how they can be ordered within EFIT 6 and what we mean by the default ordering. In the second section we'll explain how to import layers from outside the EFIT 6 program. Note that you can use the index in the notes below to directly access either of these specific sections. In this section of the lesson, we're going to explain the use of layers within EFIT 6 and how they are ordered. If we click on the layers icon, EFIT 6 shows all the separate parts or layers that make up your EFIT image. Note first that each of these layers, apart from the face itself, can be hidden by checking the visibility icon. We can think of each layer as being an object, such as the hair or the clothing or the jewellery, with a transparent background. The layers are stacked on top of each other in a particular order to create the overall image. Thus in this example, the jewellery is on the top and the clothing is on the bottom. EFIT 6 applies a default ordering to the layers. In almost all cases, the default ordering will not need to be altered but very occasionally, you may wish to change the order of two or more layers. Layers can be promoted or demoted in the ordering using the up and down arrows or dragged and dropped into position. In the example shown, we've loaded an earring on the face. By placing the earring below the face in the order of layers, we get a more natural looking result. Note that you can also alter the opacity or transparency of any selected layer using the slider. For example, if we wanted to make the glasses appear a little softer, we can select the glasses and move the opacity slider down. Note that you can also delete layers that for any reason are not required in your image by clicking on the cross button in the top right. Thus, if, for example, we wanted to remove the earring, click on the jewellery item and confirm OK. Finally, note that to restore the default order, we click on the button Default Order. In this section of the lesson, we're going to explain how to import layers from outside the EFIT 6 program. EFIT 6 also has the capacity to import image layers from outside the program. Let's illustrate this using an example. Suppose the eyewitness remembers that the offender wore a jacket which had a distinctive USA sports badge or logo on the front, but this can't be found in the EFIT 6 database. By searching on the internet, however, you're able to find the image shown below. This image can be imported into EFIT 6 and then resized and positioned as needed. Click on Import. Navigate to the selected image. A thumbnail appears. Label the image, in this case as a logo and then hit the import button. Note carefully that to position and rescale this imported logo, you'll need to go to the logos tool. Once within the logos tool, you can position and resize it as required. A final important detail. For any image that you import into eFit, you must decide beforehand which parts of the image you do not wish to appear inside eFit 
and then make them transparent using PaintShop, Photoshop or a similar program. Thus in the example shown here, the USA logo is within PaintShop, but everything apart from the coloured lettering and the outline of the shield have been made transparent.